Hello, and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask Video Mail for the week of December 1st, 2014. Welcome to the site to you new members, and welcome back to the old members. The Ask Video Mail is your chance. It's your only chance to get your question in character animation or performance answered in a video just like this one, but I need your question if I'm going to answer it. So please send it to webmaster at kennyroy.com. I go through all the questions and I answer the ones that I think will help the most people. There's no such thing as a stupid question, really. Believe me, if there is, I've already asked it. So don't be afraid, okay? Send it in and it is the best way to get the most out of the site. Kennyroy.com is going. Doesn't matter if we are on holiday. I am leaving for New Zealand. And I will be there, but the show must go on. Okay, so don't worry, there is going to be no interruption to the KennyWay.com content. You will be able to watch and see and learn and love and live and be merry here. Okay, uh, so uh, put away the uh, tinfoil hats and the pitchforks. I don't know why there would be pitchforks, um, but just don't be afraid. Okay, um, let's see what else. I have been um, working pretty hard on the... Uh, uh, feature film that's here and I also have been stirring up a couple new projects um, I will tell you about those when they launch um, actually I'll tell you I'll give you a little bit of a tease hey did you know but you didn't because I haven't told you yet did you know that Arconix is now doing a little bit of game development okay well maybe not Arconix is I am and I'm having a blast. I really am. I shouldn't have waited so long to uh, do a little bit of game development. I'm having a really good time. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but um, I am an avid uh, game fan. I used to be, for just a very short while, like a year or so, I uh, used to uh, compete professionally in, uh, in Call of Duty and Battlefield. So... Um, really avid uh, game fan and um, the tools are so simple to use now that uh, I'm really enjoying uh, the prospect of telling interactive stories so anyway that's where I am a little piece of Kenny Roy trivia now you know and knowing is half the battle and you probably saw this image online at one point the other half is red and blue lasers and if you don't get that joke you must not have been a child of the 80s. But that's fine. Let's, uh, let's agree to be friends and move on together. Let's uh, check out the question. Here we go. Uh, great question. So one thing that's interesting, if you check out the, uh, the student films of a lot of the Pixar directors you see a lot of common themes and every every one of them has their own kind of style and and it, it, it's like clear as day that it, you know how it's has like survived and, and and you know it finds its way into all of their films even their most recent films um particularly i'm thinking about pete doctor pete doctor his student film at CalArts was this story about this little girl um who lives next door to this curmudgeon uh old man and um, basically, the girl is made out of circular shapes, and the man is made out of square shapes. Fast forward to Monsters, uh, in Monsters Inc. Sully, um, like you know, basically square shape. Um, Mike Wazowski, basically a circle. Um, up, same thing. You have um, um, what's his name? I keep wanting to say Ralph. Um, I can't remember his name. Um, Carl. Up. Pixar. Damn it. Russell. Russell. Uh, Russell is curved shapes. He's kind of, kind of uh, chunky, chunky monkey. Poor little guy. Um, Carl again, square shapes. And L again, or Ellie is 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 a little bit more round and 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 sort of like um, natural, like swirls and stuff. Her chair has like swirls on it, and his is kind of like a you know sort of like a square, more square armchair. Anyway, um, so why am I saying this? Good design 
means um, simplifying shapes. Good design means having um, sort of like common threads and like common ideas through your, your characters. And um, if you can find what those are, then you can quickly and easily thumbnail your characters. Okay, so I'm just going to look at Groggy right now. And um, here's something that you should uh, uh, try to do. Take the Grease Pencil tool. I'm assuming you all have at least Maya 2014, okay? And just do a very, very, very light sort of um, very loose um, drawing of the, the periphery of the character, basically the outline, the silhouette, okay? And then move the character out of the way and see what you have left. This is probably the simplest uh, uh, silhouette that you could possibly have for this character. And this might seem rudimentary, but this is actually pretty darn good. All right, it has, it was, it's based on the character, so it has the right proportions. Remember that the, 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 the tip I always give out is to learn how to quickly and accurately um, thumbnail your character. And the reason that the accuracy is important is because you, um, as much as you want your poses that you're thumbnailing to be really good and to be strong and dynamic and iconic and statuesque and all these things, if you break the model too much, you'll never be able to hit it with the 3D character. Okay, so this is a pretty good approximation. Once you have this, okay, hide the character off somewhere, okay, and then do a couple uh, do a couple like very like loose like pose tests okay so I'm gonna have him like waving okay waving his um, his hand and I'm just going to use like the length that we have here you know sort of like feel the length that we have and have him you know sort of you know waving his hand like this and we have you know this length right here so I'm just gonna try to to approximate just a little bit all right so he's a little bit bigger here than I'm giving him credit for all right his head is not so sunken into his shoulders as I have okay and then just do like dozens of these and what you'll find is you start simplifying like so for instance this was like light nice and straight but this little line right here looks like Mr. Oogie Boogie from The Nightmare Before Christmas but it has a little bit more of an accurate approximation of the volume of this character okay you know he, he does have some serious volume okay so you know, while you can start here, you'll start developing a shorthand that's really starting to work. Then what you should do is you should start trying to um, see uh, just how, sorry about that, um, let me just use curves here, uh, just how close you're getting um, with your thumbnails. And if you can um, essentially build You know, build your ideas here. Get that shoulder up. All right, so that's pretty darn close, I'd say. All right, don't you think? All right, so it, it has to do with, so like in, in, in like Monsters, Inc., if you're looking at um, Sully, if you look at the boards, Basically, Pete Doctor like draws these, you know, square, you know, heads for Sully, and then like a very, very, very sort of like square approximation of, you know, like how he looks, and then he draws, you know, Mike right next to him, right? Something like that. Let's say Mike's looking up at Sully. He's got his hands, right? So, and the same thing, Carl. Carl, again, very square. He's got a very square jaw, square nose, square glasses, you know. Even his ears are kind of square. And his, you know, the rest of his body, again. You know, and, he, and in the beginning, he walks with a walker, and the walker has four corners, right? It's, a, it's another little square. 
right? And then Russell is a little bit more portly and whatever. So what I'm trying to, trying to emphasize is that most designs that are good and most characters you're going to end up working with, or if you're drawn to like a free rig online, have some sort of kind of design elements that can be simplified and can be reduced to like component parts. And if you if you start with your character and then just do a very simple outline, then you can then you can begin the process of like seeing, okay, this is like the length and this is sort of the proportion of, of like the arm length to like the body. And it doesn't matter that there's like feet right here and there's like shorts and like the shorts have like a very, you know, I mean, the feet themselves are very, very skinny and the shorts are big. It doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, you want to get the the gestural accuracy, not the perfect, like, illustrative accuracy. You don't want to render these out, especially if you're doing thumbnails, okay? So, again, um, you know, I, I went from just a very simple five-second drawing of, of his outline, his silhouette, to this you know, in no time flat, and this was the thumbnail that I was able to almost perfectly match. All right, do you see that? So it requires practice. Listen, none of this stuff is is like, you know, do it immediately, and though the question was, you know, to try to help out people for whom this is extra difficult, um, it's difficult for everyone. You know, the the question kind of kind of is like a, is, is almost like a trick question, but you're not you're not going to, you know, get out of any of these problems without a little bit of work. So um, I would say this. Why not, instead of saying, like, I don't really draw well, like, is there a way, is there, is there like, a, a different way for people who don't draw well to, to draw? Um, just throw that out. Stop saying you don't draw well. Or if you do say you don't draw well yet, say yet, you know, um, or whatever because there's there's only one there's only one road there's not multiple roads there's only one road from not drawing to being able to draw really well it's like a it's like a 20 lane freeway okay <laughs> all right it, there's not like a million different paths and you can you know you can get there there's one road and it's from drawing you get from not drawing to being able to draw well by drawing. And everybody's on the same road. You're all on the same road, just at different points on the road. Where am I? I'm somewhere like halfway. I am not happy with how, how well I draw. I do not get enough time to practice. I have 10 projects going on at, at, at once. And um, I, I'm a little ashamed of it. It's something that I do feel like I need to work on. Uh, but that being said... There's, there's, there's only one road, and, and stop thinking about yourself or categorizing or referring to yourself as somebody, you know, somebody that doesn't draw well, because that sort of, that sort of betrays the, the truth of the matter, which is that um, basically, no, there is not a way for people who don't draw well to, you know, to, you know, there, there's not a different way for you to draw that will, will take into consideration that you don't draw well. Um, there's just drawing, okay? So hopefully um, you guys are inspired to jump into Maya right now and maybe do a little peripheral test, a little outline of your character that you're working on right now. You'll notice that the characters that you're probably um, drawn to, no pun intended. <laughs> you probably notice that the characters that you're drawn to have um, common sort of threads that, that you're drawn to as well. So um, it's, it's not magic either, guys. All right, I'm having a ton of fun. Uh, that was a great question. You guys know the address to send them to. Don't forget, you can send me your Maya file. I'd love to open them up on the, uh, on the show here and, uh, and uh, talk about them and let you know what's what. All right, really appreciate you guys uh, helping me out, sending in those questions and uh, driving the content here. It's been a great time. I'm Kenny Roy. Good luck with your animation. As always, rock on.